Hello, my darlings. Welcome to your daily mini reading, the Watch I Do reading. This is Victoria from Veritas Tarot. I am going to use, I haven't used them in a while, my uh, Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Um, a really rather lovely deck. So thank you, Spirit, for reminding me about these. This reading is for those that most need to hear it when you're guided to see this reading. My readings are timeless. Um, and I am going to pull the three cards, one for the situation, one for the yes card, the encouragement card from spirit, and one the no or the refrain card from spirit. So let's have a look, my darling, at your situation. This is for those that most need to hear it, spirit. Thank you. So what has come out? Isn't that interesting? This is the same uh, card that I pulled, um, two others as well, same card I pulled for the new uh, daily short. You've got number eight, this says control, but this is about strength. So it's very important at this time, the strength comes from you, whatever the situation is, the strength comes from you knowing so much about it, but doing so little. It's about letting go of control and in fact letting go of control of things outside of yourself you have no control over that you cannot force to, uh, you cannot force somebody to see it your way you cannot force or affect something within your life and actually if you allow yourself to the only thing you can control is how you respond to the situation so respond from an awareness that you're not in control but respond about how you're feeling about it and how you're going to uh, reply how you're going to um, take a vibrational stance with this as well because you can control your emotions you can make a decision by uh, choosing not to be part of, uh, if, if this is a situation, it's choosing not to be part of something that it is, that is destructive, you can choose to be constructive about it. You can choose to choose love, as I said yesterday in the uh, daily short, because the constructive, the power of constructive love is so much more powerful than the destructive power of fear. So, just understand you're not in control of this and spirit wants you to let go of control because then the universe will flow, the universal life force can work its magic on the situation. And it's all about, you've got here the eight of wands. This is what's gonna happen, success and growth because you are allowing things to naturally, spontaneously grow. You're allowing it to happen by life itself, because life itself is constantly always shifting and changing. And sometimes we we might want to control the way that it is growing, but it has a natural force within its own uh, space. And then you've got the three of pentacles. Uh, this is the uh, reaching out card, it says here. There are, in order, what spirit wants you to do within this space of strength is to reach out to those that you know are also a source of strength. Sometimes we do not wish to ask for help. But what about in the asking for help that actually you're going to get that universal guidance that you have been asking? And it's only your fear of not wanting to be too much of a burden, not wanting to offend. There are those that are there to help you at this time, darling, but you have to ask, reach out. It's the same for your guys as well. So that is your situation at this time. Um, and let's have a look now at the encouragement card from spirit thank you thank you the encouragement card well look at this you've got number uh you've got two major arcanas and i'm going to talk about both of them you've got number 20 blossom so number 20 is the judgment card so what you can control i go back to the strength card what you can control is how you respond to the situation so the judgment card my darling is a very big decision card for you it is a decision a life-changing decision it is about something generally that hasn't worked out for you the way that you wish for it to work out or you've naturally seen that it is disappearing from your life because you've outgrown it but it is a, a point in time where you are going to make a decision that is going to um because it's this judgment card it's going to uh, impact quite considerably um choices and directions that you're going in the future now let's look at the word judgment very interesting word judgment to judge a judge is considered fair somebody who acts in that place of judgment looks at all sides of what is happening and 
it is fair. It is always done fairly with no emotional leaning one way or the other. So it is considered uh, fairly and then considered action is taken. What Spirit is saying to me here is that if you are in a situation that you can't control, try to look at it from that detached, considered view of things. But also within this space, remember that the words that you're using at this time are either attracting one thing or another for you. So within this situation that you're in at the moment, if there is something that you feel is an important decision to make, but maybe you might be looking at something else unfavorably at this time or somebody else unfavorably at this time, try not to judge them because we're not here to judge. We're not here to judge, my darling. And the power of words and judging another brings also that judgment onto yourself because we, we how do I say this spirit? When you wish something on somebody else, you attract that to yourself. When you say something about somebody else or something else, others will say that about you. When you wish for another or something else success, you then also receive it. You're saying it unto yourself. So remember that, that use words, try and refrain within this space of judgment to use words that are not coming from your awareness as a soul that you know are not coming from your hurt pride or hurt ego but words that are sent out as a vibration that are incredibly powerful words that are sent out to heal words that are sent out to demonstrate love words that are sent out for blossoming as this card talks about here you can grow and expand your vibration, your success, your abundance in whatever form that is through a very fair judgment of any experience and situation that you find yourself in. And the best way to judge is to take that step back, not condemn, not to judge, just to understand that everybody is exactly where they're meant to be according to their soul's purpose. That, that that soul, as I um, learned the other day with a beautiful expression of the soul, is a singular outflow of universal life. I like to say the singular outflow or outpouring of universal love. So within that space, that's your soul's talk, okay? So within this space, if you choose to step into a soul's awareness that there is no judgment to be made, everybody's exactly where they're meant to be. And there are many lessons and remembrances being learned in every single experience um and that don't judge and in the non-judging not only with this situation resolve itself but you will also blossom and expand so that's a very powerful message for you for uh the yes card from spirit the encouragement card from spirit oh yes and i promised you didn't i you've then got this rebuild card which is the tower so what was holding you back what you were maybe attached to or restricted by will naturally dissolve and dissipate. And you are then in a process. Your strength comes from your control of how you're responding to this situation. You are going to respond, what well, I'm telling you to, but you are encouraged to respond with love, with kindness, with encouragement yourself and with understanding. And then you have this momentum of rebuilding what was a stagnant old structure, energetic structure that you are within to something that is bigger and greater and something that you are also very protective about. So uh, that's the yes card from spirit. And let's have a look at the refrain card from spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Because, you know, within this eight of wands where, sorry, I just have to, within this eight of wands where attention goes and energy flows, 
you know, when I talk, wonder about desires and desires and enthusiasm and, and, and inspiration, that's all spirit, darling. So spirit is already growing. You may not see this at this time, but there is something creating momentum for you here, spiritually, energetically. Thank you, spirit. What's the no card for spirit, for, from spirit? Oh, I wanted to come out. So we've got number 14. Sorry, there was one other. Uh, it's on the bottom of the deck. So I think I'm going to read it because it's the Hierophant. So um, number 14, uh, this is uh, temperance, balance. Spirit is saying at this time that there, there is um, what they're asking you to do is uh, to refrain from trying to make this all happen now to try and to, to, to do something now, because there is a delicate balance at this present time with this situation. And I call it a situation, it can be anything, darling, you know what I mean by that. It is a, 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 a just a general term for whatever has brought you to the reason that you, reading that you feel this may resonate with. And the situation can be an event, it could be an experience, it could be a person, a situation, whatever it is, in other words, situation. So within this space of balance, there is a, um, you're not, Spirit is saying, try and come back, try and refrain from trying to fix this and control this, because there is a delicate balance here. This, as the temperance card, means temper. To temper is to moderate. So when you moderate, you are again consciously responding. You're not doing what you may feel is a natural reaction. So catch yourself when you are reacting and say, no, I meant to stand back and, and temper maybe your actions, maybe your emotions at this time. But the temperance card is also to say today that within this delicate balance of what is happening, the spiritual laws of the universe are at play. And if you are observing that things aren't perhaps working out for you the way that you wish them to do. Why don't you take a step back, moderate whatever you're, you're overdoing and see and observe what unfolds for you according to the spiritual laws of the universe? Because there is something that they are very, um, there is something happening for you behind the scenes. So that's the temperance card. And alongside of that, you've got five, which is teach. So this is this is um this is the Hierophant card. And so this is about the guidance. And uh you see, you're looking, you're looking for something deeper in life. Um, you're searching for it, and this is why the tower is appearing in this card as the rebuild. This is why the blossoming, uh, the success and growth, but You've got to ask, you've got to ask, you've got to ask spirit, you've got to say thank you, keep doing that, keep acknowledging, keep saying your affirmations, and also notice those that are around you at this time that can help you. Oh, it's a little sneeze from my dog. So um, in terms of this Hierophant cards, you know, you're looking for something deeper, and uh, I feel that there is, because you're trying to control something, you're a little bit sort of almost fed up with how life is at this moment but that's okay my darling because this is all about your personal development area and, and i don't know what this is for you but it is when it comes to personal emotional development is obviously normally about relationships uh, that you have things that are also as the hierophant can be something to do with marriage or a very very strong commitment come back to this first of all i'm guided to see the little dog here there is within this relationship a great deal to learn um, both of you, if this is a relationship reading for you, both of you, and it's the psychic tower of the heart, both of you have so much to learn from each other, but there is a great deal of loyalty there as well. Spirit is saying, listen to understand, not just to reply, because when we listen to understand, we are aware, we are making a response, a considered action, we're not judging. When we listen to reply, we're straight into that judgment. So that's a very big message for you today. Um, and also with the Hierophant, it is that, you know, these experiences are to teach us, are to help us learn, learn to help us grow. And that's why the Temperance card has also come in with two people here. So there is, and I express this a lot, that, that, that relationships are so key in our life. Any relationship is so key in our life because not as a codependence, but as an independence, that interdependence between two people 
means that each one of those people can learn more about themselves in that relationship. It's in relation to the other one, how somebody learns about themselves. And that's the yin and the yang balance within this as well. So you are, there is a strong connection. This is a commitment. There is loyalty here. But listen to understand, my darling, not just to reply. So there we are. That's your lovely uh, daily reading for today. I trust that has helped those that have resonated with it. I look forward to doing another one for you tomorrow. Um, those that have booked your uh 20 minute, uh, not 20 minutes, sorry, those that have put your one question, one answer uh, reading from me, you will be receiving those this week. Uh, you will get them within the seven days that you have booked them. So do not uh, fret about that. They will be winging their way to you by email. Um, and I shall also be starting the October star signs, as I said this week. Um, in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. Um, love you to press that button and also if you'd love to join this channel I do offer some uh, lovely benefits for those that are members including weekly member videos and a live once a month uh, the first ones this weekend so in the meantime my darlings take care and I shall see you tomorrow so much love bye bye <music>